Karibu katika sehemu ya pili ya kipindi chetu ni muendelezo wa topiki yetu ya if experimental errors Mwalimu Kim ataendelea kutudadavulia kwa undani na tuweze kujifunza yale ambayo bado hatujaweza kuyafahamu Sasa kama systematic errors zimekuwa eliminated completely ni kama mtu amekwenda hospitali amepima ugonjwa daktari akauona ugonjwa wake kwa sababu tumesema is to determine amepimwa ugonjwa ukaonekana lakini sababu ya pili the causes unknown huyu bwana kapimwa kaonekana ana malaria is to determine ugonjwa umeonekana kiwepesi lakini pia malaria kinachosababisha malaria kinajulikana daktari amejua labda ni anopheles mbu ndio kwa sababu hii sasa daktari atajua ha, kwa sababu ugonjwa ni malaria unasababishwa na shida hapa basi atampatia mtu ile dawa ndio maana tunasema they can be eliminated completely systematic error kwa kuwa ni nyepesi kujulikana na pia kinachosababisha systematic errors kinajulikana sasa kama systematic errors zimeonekana kama systematic errors zinaonekana nini kitafanyika kwa mfano katika kesi yetu ya kupima urefu mtu amepima urefu wa wawani sentimita ametakiwa apimwe akasoma 0.6 cm era ikajionesha 0.4 minus badala ya mbili cm length yetu sisi ikaenda ikajionesha 1.6 ikatengeneza era ya 0.4 cm 0.4 cm kwa sababu hii sasa mtu ameshagundua na era ipo constant anagundua nini kina tatizo anakuja anaangalia aa hii mita rule aliyotumia ina zero error akiachana na mita rule ina zero error akaja kutumia mita rule nzuri sasa kwa badala ya kusoma 1 cm badala ya kusoma moja atasoma moja badala ya kusoma mbili atasoma mbili no error in an instrument kwa kuwa hakuna error katika instrument sasa mtu atakachokipata sasa hii ndio somo hapa moja ndio hii iliyotakiwa isomwe moja kama atasoma tatu ndio tatu iliyotakiwa isomwe kwa mtu anasoma jibu halisi the actual value anasoma thamani halisi ya kitu kwa systematic errors zikiondolewa kwa sababu umebadilisha kifaa umekitumia kifaa ambacho hakina error then you get the actual value kwa systematic errors zikiwa eliminated we obtain the actual value na systematic errors zinakuwa obtained by resetting the experiment resetting the experiment una reset upya kifaa hiki kina shida una kitoa na kutumia ambacho hakina shida ukishatumia kifaa ambacho hakina shida unapata thamani halisi ukishapata thamani halisi sasa tukisema tusome error kwa utasema error ni ile value inayo deviate from the actual value because systematic errors can be avoided and eliminated completely zinaweza zikazuilika na zikaondolewa kabisa zikaondolewa kabisa maana yake jibu linalopatikana ni jibu halisi actual value kwa tutai define systematic error ile itakayo deviate from the actual value why because systematic errors can be avoided and eliminated completely tunaweza tukaziondoa na tukazizuia zisiingie kabisa katika experiment kama tunazuia error katika experiment maana tunapata jibu halisi. Kwa tukaenda ku define systematic error, tunasema is the error which deviate from the actual value. Systematic error is the error which deviate from the actual value. Kwa hiyo nikimwambia mwanafunzi the actual value of a length was supposed to be 18 cm. The measured value uliyopata wewe ni 17.6 the error will be measured value minus actual value the error will be 0.4 minus centimeters kwa tunapomwambia mwanafunzi tutafutie systematic error utaichukua kwa kuchukua measured value kwa kutoa actual value uweze ukatoa jibu lingine kwa sababu systematic error can be avoided completely ukizuia kabisa kabisa utapata jibu halisi ni kama tumesema systematic error mtu yake ana malaria amepimwa malaria malaria haingii basi ni mtu mzima huyo kwa hiyo inapatikana jibu halisi 
Kwa definition ya systematic error ni lazima tu define error which deviate from the actual value. Atuwezi ku define systematic error is the error which shift in only one direction. Iki shift katika mwelekeo mmoja by how much? Tutaipataje hiyo error kwa kujua kwamba ime shift kuelekea mwelekeo mmoja? Je, sisi tunaipataje sasa? Maana kuelekea mwelekeo mmoja ni either imeongezeka tu au imepungua tu. Sasa inatupaje definition na physics inatutaka tunapo define kitu tuweze kupata quantitatively to calculate hiyo error. Na wala atuwezi tuka define systematic error is the error which is due to a non cause. Ukisema systematic error ni error inayosababishwa na sababu inayojulikana. Sawa. Sababu inajulikana. Nitaipataje hiyo error kutokana na sababu inayojulikana? Ni ngapi? Ni 0.2, 0.4, 0.6. Nitaijuaje kwa kujua kwamba inasababishwa na sababu inayojulikana. Sio definition za errors katika physics. Na ndizo ambazo zinaendelea kutumika mpaka sasa hivi. Kwa lazima tuseme systematic error is the error which deviate from the actual value. Ukiwa na shida ni ujue kwa nini ni error ina deviate from the actual value. It deviate from the actual value because systematic errors can be avoided. Systematic errors naweza zikazuilika zisiingie kabisa kutoka katika jibu halisi kwa tukalipata jibu halisi katika systematic error. Na kama ziliingia can be eliminated completely. Zinaweza zikaondolewa moja kwa moja zisiwepo. Kwa kama zito kwepo tutapata actual value. Kwa definition yetu lazima tumwambie mtu ni ile error iliyo deviate from the actual value. Kwa kama unajua actual value, ukapata measured value sasa systematic error you can get. Sub physics nataka unapo define uweze kuicalculate. Sasa nika define error which shift in only one direction because I cannot get the value of an error by knowing that the error is shifting in only one direction. Error ya pili ni random error. Random error kama ilivyo systematic error ya kwanza, systematic error causes zake zimekuwa known. Random errors are the errors which are due to unknown causes. Causes are random errors kuwa hazijulikani, ni accidental. Ni kama mtu anaendesha gari, hawezi kujua hapa nitapata ajali mara amepinduka. Zimeitwa so, accidental errors. Random errors ni accidental errors. Errors due to unknown causes. Na tunaposema causes kama watu wa physics, tusiseme seme tu, ni lazima tuangalie EP is the major cause. The major cause of random error, the major cause of random error is environmental fluctuations. Environmental fluctuations, environmental changes. Changes in environmental conditions ndio kinachosababisha random errors. Example temperature changes of the surrounding temperature changes of the surrounding the change in wind speed change in wind direction change in relative humidity etc changes in temperature kwa mfano tunafanya practical za heat tunajua tunafanya newton's law of cooling kabla tujafanya experiment zetu za newton's law of cooling ni lazima tutafute room temperature temperature ya surrounding ipo ngapi Inawezekana tumeseti swali tukiangalia temperature ya surrounding kwa kwa tukadilie kwa hapa kwa hapa Dar es Salaam room temperature mara nyingi ni 32 degrees of centigrade ukachukua thermometer yako ukaisoma kwa muda huu tukaikadilia 32 lakini Mwenyezi Mungu akaamua tu kwa ghafla mvua imenyesha na baridi limeshuka kwa badala ya room temperature kusoma 32 inawezekana room temperature kaenda ikashuka mpaka 27 au 25 au hata 23 kwa muda mfupi tena inawezekana joto likapanda room temperature ikaja ikatugea laba 26. Kwa wakati temperature ina change change inatusababisha sisi tupate errors na is errors tumezita ni accidental because we cannot control the environmental changes. We cannot control the changes in environmental condition. No one can control. Ni mipango ya Mungu. Hakuna mtu anaweza kusema temperature ya surrounding size tuishushe iwe ngapi ya room tuipandishe iwe ngapi hakuna ndio maana errors zinazosababishwa na mabadiliko ya mazingira zinaitwa accidental errors zina change random systematic not systematic zimesababishwa na environmental changes na hakuna mtu anaweza kuzicontrol changes in wind speed hakuna mtu anaweza kakontrol speed ya upepo change in wind direction anaweza mtu amna mtu anaweza akaamua tunafanya practical za simple pendulum 
Hakuna mtu anaweza kaamua upepo sasa hizi uende huko au uende huko. Kuizuia bobo au kuiongezea speed bob. Haitowezekana. Lakini hizi si is random errors sababu ya pili sifa yao ya pili zipo random. Zile kule zipo systematic. Remember, tulisema zipo systematic kwa sababu kuwa systematic kumemaanisha maana mbili. Moja they shift in only one direction systematic errors kinyume cha random kuwa random napo ni maana mbili zile zime shift katika mwelekeo mmoja tu random zimeenda zime shift katika mielekeo yote miwili kuna muda random errors zinaongezeka kuna muda zinapunguka kwa tunasema zipo random e, mara utakuta errors zinaongezeka mara errors zinapunguka unaweza ukafanya experiment ya kwanza kukusoma measurement ukapata error ya plus 0.3 ukapata ya pili minus 0.7 ukapata nyingine maybe minus 0.1 mara plus 0.4 etc zina shift in all direction plus minus mara zinaongezeka mara zinapunguka kuwa random lakini sifa ya pili ya kuwa random ni tofauti ya pili ya kuwa systematic ya pili systematic tulisema ni errors ambazo zipo constant. Kama zimeongezeka atakuta zinaongezeka alaba kama ilikuwa ni 0.5 itakuwa 0.5 throughout. Random errors they are variables. Aziwi constant. Muda zinaongezeka kwa 0.3 mara zinatoka kwa 0.7 mara zinaongezeka hizi value zake hazipo constant zinabadilika ndio maana tumesema zipo random hazipo katika mpangilio. Zimeitwa random errors. Sifa ya tatu ya random errors ni tofauti ya tatu kati ya random errors na systematic errors. Tulisema systematic errors ni laisi ni nyepesi kugundulika. Systematic errors ikifanyika ni rahisi kuonekana. Random errors ni vigumu kuonekana. They are difficult to determine. Ndio maana sometimes they are called indeterminate errors naitwa indeterminate errors due to its difficulty they are difficulty to determine because kwa nini zipo difficult moja zipo random hazina mpangilio mzuri lakini ya pili they are causes are unknown they are causes are unknown kwa sababu hiyo basi inapatikana sifa namba nne ya random errors They cannot be avoided. They cannot be avoided as wezi kuzuilika. Wala you cannot eliminate them completely instead. You can minimize. They cannot be avoided but they can be minimized. As wezi zikazuilika zisiwepo katika experiment. Kwa sababu kinachosababisha random error hatukijui kama tukijui hatuwezi tukakipinga kitu ambacho hatukijui kitajitokeza kwa random errors ni lazima ziwepo na zikisha kuwepo random errors huwezi ukaziondoa kwa nini huwezi ukaziondoa kwa sababu they are causes are unknown kinachosababisha hakijulikani unaweza kusema zimesababishwa na voltmeter kumbe zimesababishwa na wind random error unasema zimesababishwa na wind kumbe zimesababishwa na temperature kwa sababu they are causes are unknown Random errors cannot be eliminated completely. What do we have to do is to minimize the errors. Tunachotakiwa kufanya ni kuzipunguza tu kwa sababu hatuwezi tukazi eliminate completely. Minimization of random errors. Random errors are minimized by taking several readings, by taking Many readings and finding the mean, finding the average value. Katika physics tunaitafuta average value kwa kuondoa random errors kwa kuchola graph. Tunaweza tukachukua na graph ya data zetu sisi mbili, laba ya vo, vo, voltage na current. Um kuna data tofauti 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 ya ohms law, tunachola mstari hapa, mstari unaenda kutugea mean value. Mstari unaenda kutugea mean value. So the accepted value is the mean value. Mean value is the accepted value. When random errors are minimized, 
we get the mean value random errors zikiondoka tunapata mean value kwa sababu gani atupati actual value hatupati actual value kwa sababu hatuwezi tukaziondoa random errors majibu yote yanakuja na errors na ni lazima yaje na errors kwa sababu random errors cause zao ni accident hatuwezi tukazizuia sisi errors zisiingie kwa sababu kinachosababisha random errors atukijui kwa ni lazima zitaingia na zikiingia hatuwezi tukaziondoa kwa sababu kinachosababisha random errors atukijui kwa sababu hiyo sasa tutachukua yale yale majibu yenye errors tutayatafutia wastani wake kwa mfano x1 x2 zote zikuwa na errors we find the mean tukishapata hii mean ndio iliyotafutwa kwa grafu hii hapa kwa jibu sasa tutakalo lisoma sisi tunalo li accept ni hii mean value kwa hiyo ni ile itakayo deviate from the mean kwa mfano acceleration due to gravity badala ya 9.8 moja tulivyosoma labda tulipata 9.9 this is the mean value hii ndio jibu linalokubalika kwa error tutaitoa hapa sasa kama mtu atakwenda kupata kumi, basi error yake itakuwa kumi kutoa 9.9 sio kumi kutoa actual value is kumi minus mean value so random errors are the errors which deviate from the mean value hapa nime nilitaka nimekuja na na na, na, na kitabu nikajikuta nimejisahau nimekuja na kitabu cha review swali la form 6 la mwaka 2007 na saba. swali la form 6 la mwaka 2007 na saba. physics paper 1 swali la kwanza lilikuwa ni kutofautisha kati ya random errors na systematic errors katika review nimeangalia mtu ame ametofautisha ameanza na systematic errors akasema errors which shift in only one direction systematic errors ni zile errors zinazoelekea katika mwelekeo mmoja sawa akaja kutoa sifa ya random error akaja kutoa sifa ya random error kwamba are the errors which deviate from the mean errors which deviate from the mean shida inayojitokeza itokeza kila alichokiongea kaongea sawa sawa systematic is na na shift in only one direction random zina deviate from the mean ye ku deviate from the mean ndio tofauti ya ku shift in only one direction inawezekana tukamwambia mtu tutofautishie watu wawili mtu a na mtu b akatupa sifa ya kwanza ya mtu a kwamba mtu a ni mrefu lakini mtu b ni mweusi tutapata shida katika kuelewa tutajiuliza weusi ni tofauti ya urefu tumesema tofautisha ukitambia mtu A ni mrefu kinyume chake mtu B ni mfupi mtu A ni mweupe mtu B ni mweusi mtu A ni mnene mtu B ni mwembamba ndivyo ambavyo sisi tunajua tofautisha random and systematic error unatuambia systematic error zina zina shift in only one direction Random zina deviate from the mean. Ku deviate from the mean tofauti yake ni ku deviate from the actual value. Ku shift in only one direction tofauti yake ni ku shift in all directions. Tukifanya tufanye kwa kujua kipindi chetu kwa leo takuwa kimeshia hapa kipindi kinachofuata tunaenda kuangalia mistakes in errors miangu matumaini mtakuwa mjifunza mengi na leo tumefikia tamati ya kipindi chetu cha leo cha measurement of physical quantities ulikuwa nami mtangazaji wako Judith Mwale pamoja na Mwalimu Kim usiache kusubscribe channel yetu ambayo Facebook na Instagram tunatumia Global Publishers Twitter tunatumia Global Habari na tovuti yetu ni www.globalpublishers.co.tz tukutane tena siku na saa kama ya leo naweza kukaa na somo jingine ambalo linaweza kukufundisha na kukuelimisha zaidi